Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. FAA informs drone hobbyists how to deregister, get refund. Drone ID Aviation Rulemaking Committee update. Multi-GP 2017 International Open only a month away. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. If you were one of those hobby drone or model aircraft pilots who were grumbling about having to register your aircraft with the FAA a year or so ago, there is now a way for you to remove your information from the FAA's registration list and get your $5 back. But it's not as easy as it was to register and it will take some time to have your information purged from the list as it apparently all has to be done by hand through the United States Postal Service. The FAA has posted on its website update information regarding the small UAS registration and marking interim final rule as a result of a recent decision by the U.S. Court of Appeals. The court's decision invalidated the registration requirement as it applies to certain model aircraft that meet the definitional and operational requirements provided in Section 336 of the FAA Modernization and Reform Act. Owners of model aircraft which are operated in compliance with Section 336 are not required to register. Owners of all other small unmanned aircraft, including newly purchased unmanned aircraft not operated exclusively in compliance with Section 336, remain subject to the registration requirement. The FAA continues to encourage voluntary registration for all owners of small unmanned aircraft. In the next Drone Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The Drone User Group Network proposed changes to both the House and Senate versions of the FAA reauthorization bills that will help spur innovation, preserve the privacy of the public, preserve the privacy of drone users, and enhance the efficiency of the aviation system. DUGN also praised the House legislation that created a definition for a CBO. While the DUGN felt that there could be minor changes, the organization joined the Academy of Model Aeronautics in supporting the overall intent of the language. ANN has noted that most drone flyers seem to have a strong interest in being good aero citizens. Unfortunately, the FAA does not seem to have the same feeling, and a holiday message certainly cast aspersions upon them all. Tweets published by the FAA seem to imply that flying a drone, any drone, over the 4th of July holiday was not lawful and that drone pilots shouldn't leave their craft home for the holidays. Ouch. An AMA member helped NASA Langley Research Center develop Safe to Ditch, an autonomous crash management system that enables landing to a safe and clear ditch site for small UAVs. The system's mission is emergency management to get the vehicle safely to the ground in the event of an unexpected critical flight issue. Safe to Ditch uses its intelligent algorithms, knowledge of the local areas, the remaining control authority, and battery life to select a safe landing location. AMA and the University Aviation Association, the unifying voice for collegiate aviation education, are launching a joint UAS program for college students. The UAS for STEM Collegiate Challenge will encourage teamwork, competition, and success through a STEM-based education platform. Much like the program currently available to high school students, the UAS for STEM Collegiate Challenge will provide university student teams access to training, insurance, licensing, and equipment for the competition. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. The first meeting of the UAS Identification and Tracking Aviation Rulemaking Committee on June 21st through the 23rd advanced key policies of concerns to the FAA, industry, and law enforcement. During this initial meeting, the ARC considered issues such as existing regulations applicable to drone identification and tracking, air traffic management for drones, concerns and authorities of local law enforcement, and potential legal considerations. 
The group developed some preliminary questions and identification parameters and reviewed a sample of existing identification technologies. The group's membership represents a diverse variety of stakeholders, including unmanned aircraft industry, the aviation community, and industry member organizations, manufacturers, researchers, standards groups, and local law enforcement and other officials. The ARC will continue to meet as necessary to develop solutions that function at federal, state, and local levels. The ARC's next meeting is planned for July 18th through the 19th, 2017. Barely a month away, the 2017 Multi-GP International Open will be held at the AMA National Headquarters in Muncie, Indiana, August 9th through the 13th, 2017. The Multi-GP International Open will be a fun and educational time for all who will be in attendance, with fun flies open to all, multiple competitions, both racing and freestyle, workshops and summit meetings during the event, and is guaranteed to be FPV's largest fun fly festival of the year. Multi-GP drone racing is pulling out all the stops to bring the world one of the most unique drone racing events of the year. Because of the vast size of the AMA headquarters, there will be a total of eight FPV flight zones, eight different fields set up specifically for the style of flying that will take place on that field. Multi-GP understands that FPV freestyle is as an important component of the sport of FPV as racing, and this year will be holding freestyle competitions during the International Open. Other attractions will include a crash course gauntlet, a full vendor village with companies showing off their latest and greatest technology, an FPV sports summit, and various FPV-related workshops. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.